neighborhood crime alert. Take a look at this surveillance video from Southeast Houston that shows car thieves on the prowl. They ransacked some cars, even stole one truck. Channel 2's Andy Sirota is live with this crime alert tonight. Andy? Dominique, they were trolling neighborhoods like this one. This is what you call a target rich environment. Lots of homes, lots of vehicles parked in driveways. And as the thieves were approaching one of the cars they were thinking about stealing, it didn't take them long to realize that they were being watched. Keep your eye on this guy. He walks up, sees the camera, and then he's gone. And get a good look at this guy, too, as he walks up to the passenger side door of this pickup truck to see if it's unlocked. When they couldn't get inside, watch as they steal this truck instead. Here they are driving off. This is what the truck looks like. It's a 2002 Silver Dodge Ram. It belongs to Bobby Jimenez. He woke up the next morning, got ready for work, and saw that his truck was gone. I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I thought I was still asleep. I thought I was dreaming. You know, I went in and told my wife she couldn't believe it either. They didn't have to force their way in. They stole the truck after finding the spare key. It was in the glove box of his wife's car. Jimenez says they trashed the inside of her car and helped themselves to something that did not belong to them. And these guys had the nerve to sit in the back seat and drink half the bottle of tequila. Joe Orozco, Jimenez's neighbor, caught the pair on his surveillance camera. But these guys got some nerve to be doing that to people's, you know, people's cars and people's property. I hope they get caught. Hope they get caught, and I hope it's not too late when, it be, uh, when they hurt somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's, the, that's the next step. They, they're fixing to hurt somebody. Jimenez filed a police report. Police are investigating. Reporting live tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News.